Here are the five biggest prophetic signs for 2023. Are we going to see a new world order, a new pope, and new challenges? Let us look at world events through prophetic lens. Welcome to Truth in Bible Prophecy. Thank you friends for supporting this ministry. You can send your support via Patreon or via PayPal. Hope you can share and like this video. Kindly subscribe to our media ministry. May Jesus be king in your heart as we approach the new year. This one is called the five end time signs for 2023. Matthew 24 verse 3 While Jesus was sitting on the Mount of Olives, the disciples came to him privately. Tell us, they said, when will these things happen? And what will be the sign of your coming and of the end of the age? Omens are signs and events of prophetic significance. And these omens manifested or these signs are either in the beginning process of being fulfilled, some are halfway fulfilled, and some are soon to be fulfilled 2023 onwards. Eyes on Christ as we look at the progressing signs of prophecy. Sign number one, the coming world blackout. Last December 24 and 25, 2022, over 22 million people are facing rolling blackouts on Christmas Eve. This was just announced in multiple states. Millions of people are being affected because the grid is overloaded. Christmas Eve rolling blackouts frustrate many. Others find peace in darkness. How can we prepare for the coming world blackout? The battle of Armageddon which culminates with the coming of Christ. The final battle's outcome is the destruction of the confederate evil forces and the deliverance of God's faithful people. Satan's two allies, the land beasts and the sea beasts, have been thrown into the lake of fire. All who supported Babylon have been killed by the glory of Christ's appearance and are awaiting the final judgment. Revelation 20 describes the situation during the millennium and the fate of Satan and his followers at the final judgment. After this, I saw four angels standing at the four corners of the earth, holding back the four winds of the earth to prevent any wind from blowing on the land or on the sea or on any tree. The destructive winds of the seven plagues have caused much destruction, turning the earth into a barren desert. The ruins of cities and villages destroyed by the earthquake, uprooted trees, ragged rocks thrown out by the sea or thrown out of the earth itself are scattered over its surface, while vast caverns mark the spot where the mountains had been rent from their foundations. Genesis 1 verse 2 The earth was without form and void, and darkness was on the face of the deep. The state of the earth is much like the earth in its chaotic form before creation. The world will experience a thousand year blackout. No one will remain alive during this time. This planet becomes the place of Satan's imprisonment during the 1000 years until he receives his final punishment in the lake of fire. And the devil who deceived them was thrown into the lake of fire and soul for where both the beast and the false prophet were and they will be tormented day and night forever and ever the prophetic scenario of the seven last plagues it is reminiscent that a blackout will occur in a supernatural manner as the fifth angel pours out his bowl on the throne of the beast and it was covered in darkness revelation 16 verse 10 then the fifth angel poured out his bowl on the throne of the beast and his kingdom became full of darkness and and they gnaw the tongue because of the pain. That would be Vatican City in Rome, the headquarters of the beast. The fifth plague is poured out on the very command center from which the power rules the world. This sign reminds us that Jesus is the light of the world and whoever walks with Jesus will never walk in darkness and will have an empowered life. Sign number two, 
the drying of the river Euphrates. Revelation 16 verse 12. Then the sixth angel poured out his vial on the great river Euphrates, and its river was dried up, so that the way of the kings from the east might be prepared. Millions in Syria and Iraq are facing water shortages as the region's longest river, the Euphrates, dries up. The Euphrates has been the cradle of civilization in West Asia. The river has been the lifeline for millions in Iraq and Syria. The mighty Euphrates River used to near Haled al Hamis's farm, but now the river is only visible from a distance. Thus John the Revelator points to the drying up of a literal river only? Or is it a symbolic event? pointing in the near future concerning world leaders and the Antichrist. In the book of Daniel describes God's people when they were captives in Babylon in 539 BC. Cyrus the Great from Persia came with his armies and besieged the city. Because of Babylon's strong fortifications and abundant supply of water and food, the people felt that the city was impregnable. Ancient historian states that the Persians diverted the river Euphrates and entered the city through the dried riverbed, taking the city by surprise. Because of Babylon's overthrow, God's people were allowed to return to their homeland. The capture of ancient Babylon by Cyrus the Great is the background for the sixth plague scene. As in the case of ancient Babylon, so here the symbolic drought, the drying up of the Euphrates River, results in the collapse of end time Babylon, the enemy of God and his people. While Babylon has all the nations behind itself, Revelation 18 verse 3, those powers will eventually withdraw their support and turn against Babylon, causing its fall. Revelation 17, 15 to 17. This is how the Euphrates drying up should be understood. This sign reminds us that Jesus is the water of life. And if we are totally surrendered to Jesus, we will never thirst again. Sign number three, climate change. As we enter 2023, there would be warmer temperatures and changing weather patterns and disrupting the usual balance of nature. This possess many risks to human beings and all other forms of life on earth. More severe storms and increased drought. Here's why climate change is a sign of the nearness of the second coming of Jesus. The Bible has a lot to say about climate change, but the main reason behind climate change is the sinfulness of human race. And Jesus said, as it was in the days of Noah, so also will the coming of the Son of Man be. Matthew 24 verse 36. And all of the so-called natural disasters are just symptoms of the problem because the root is the sinfulness of humanity. In the days of Elijah, was there a drastic climate change? Yes, there was a three and a half year drought because of the sinfulness of Israel. In fact, God said in Deuteronomy 11 verse 17, And then the Lord's wrath be kindled against you, and He shut up the heaven, that there be no rain. Was there a climate change at the time of Noah? Yes, Genesis chapter 6 verse 11, the earth also was corrupt before God, and the earth was filled with violence. So God looked upon the earth, and indeed it was corrupt, for all flesh had corrupted their way on the earth. Verse 17, And behold, I, even I, do bring a flood of waters upon the earth to destroy all flesh, wherein is the breath of life from under heaven and everything that is in the earth shall die the climate change sign reminds us that jesus does not change he is the same yesterday today and tomorrow placing our lasting trust in christ the desire of ages sign number four oil crisis and famine oilprice.com says why 2023 is likely to see much higher oil prices. Oil traders had been cautious amid a new wave of C-19 in China. Many oil analysts see higher crude prices in 2023 as pent-up demand from China could strengthen oil fundamentals in 2023. Because of this, food prices will go high and will lead to stronger famine. 
Jesus gives us prophetic insight about a spiritual oil crisis and the condition of the saved and the lost in the 25th chapter of Matthew, the parable of the ten virgins. In the parable of the ten virgins, half of them were not prepared for the great wedding feast. What distinguished those who were ready from those who were not ready? Answer, the amount of oil in their vessels. Every virgin had oil, which represents the Holy Spirit. But some had more than others, and those others simply didn't have enough. It is not enough to have the Holy Spirit in your life. Instead, you must have enough of the Holy Spirit in your life. Some Christians are satisfied to have a thin relationship with God. But God longs for us to be filled with the Holy Spirit. You must not only have Jesus, but you must have more than enough of Jesus to last the great delay. The problem with the foolish virgins is that they assume that bringing extra oil was not a good investment. Amos 8 verse 11, The days are coming, declares the Sovereign Lord, when I will send a famine through the land, not a famine of food or a thirst of water, but a famine of hearing the words of the Lord. This sign reminds us that Jesus wants us to be filled with the Holy Spirit and to let our light shine before men. Sign number 5, The Rise of False Messiahs and False Prophecies Satan will put the spotlight on the rise of Jewish messiahs and the rebuilding of the false third temple. Israel365news.com says, Ben Gurion gearing up to bring all 70 nations straight from the airport to the third temple. Israel is upgrading its already impressive international airport. The government is also working on a railway infrastructure that will bring international travelers directly from the airport to the Temple Mount. Transportation infrastructure will play an essential role in the Third Temple as a house of prayer for all nations. Religious Jews riding the light rail to the Third Temple, bearing animal and vegetable sacrifices. And the completion of the Abrahamic Temple in Abu Dhabi is supposed to be the headquarters of the New World Order. Christians will forsake the scriptures and will let to believe a future Antichrist and a secret rapture of the church, which the Bible does not teach. This sign reminds us that Jesus is the one and only center and fulfillment of Bible prophecy, and He is coming very soon. Only by constant Bible study, having an earnest prayer life, and talking to Jesus daily is where we find spiritual strength. Kindly type in the comment section, Jesus is my refuge and strength. God bless you, friend, and may you continue to seek truth in Bible prophecy.